Hi there wildlife watchers, I'm Peter, I work for the London Wildlife Trust and today we will be learning all about moths. Why? Because I think moths are criminally underappreciated. Lots of people know and like butterflies but find moths boring. I'm going to show you that this isn't true. Firstly, a misconception is that butterflies are colourful and pretty and moths are brown, a bit dusty and you often find them in the corner of your room bouncing off your light bulb. However, moths are hugely diverse. They come in different amazing colours, shapes and sizes and at times are cute and fluffy. Some moths are very cryptic and can have excellent camouflage such as this buff tip or are great mimics like this lunar hornet moth which resembles more dangerous species like hornets or large wasps. A fabulous example of Batesian mimicry. And actually in the UK we have far more moths than we do butterflies. We have just 59 species of butterfly versus over 2,500 species of moth. Moths are more diverse, abundant and widespread. Another common misconception is butterflies come out during the day and moths at night. For the most part this is true, but we do have day flying moths such as the cinnabar and five spot burnet moth, both with lovely black and red markings. Understanding moth ecology, such as them be generally being nocturnal and their affinity towards light, enables us to take a closer look. We do this using moth traps. This is a Robertson's moth trap, essentially a big container with a light bulb and a funnel. And how this works is, during the night, moths will be attracted to the light, go towards the light and will fall into the trap. The moth trap is checked early in the morning, ideally before the sun is up and it's too hot. To help them keep comfortable, place lots of egg boxes within the container. Uh, this provides lots of hiding spots for them. Moth trapping is something you can do from your own gardens, balconies or windows. And if I'm honest, you do not need this overpriced container. You can simply hang up a white sheet with a light bouncing off it and the moths will come. Good morning wildlife watchers. I've just boiled the kettle for a coffee. It's early. Try to get up for dawn. Just give me a minute. I didn't have high hopes this morning as it was wet and windy last night, but actually we had 10 or so species in our trap this morning. The highlights include this poplar hawk moth, a silver white, and this stunning elephant hawk moth that I wanted to share with you, but let's just roll the clip shall we? You might be wondering, so what is the difference between moths and butterflies? And the answer isn't straightforward. Um, it's generally accepted that butterflies have clubbed antennae and moths have like feathering, slightly tapering antennae. Um, I know this isn't the answer that you're looking for, but this is because moths and butterflies are so similar scientifically and another reason why you should think they're both great. As it's National Moth Week, there is no better time to discover moths in your garden. And remember, it could be as simple as a white sheet or checking your porch light after dark. Have fun and I encourage you to check out the other videos on the Wildlife Watch YouTube channel. Bye!